Let me share my reflection from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 7, verses 6, 12 to 14. I was struck by verse 13 when Jesus said, Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction, and those who enter it are many. I remember uh, the story of a person who lost his uh, ring outdoors. No? It was nighttime and after a few hours of looking and searching, his friend came and asked what he was doing. Of course, he said he lost his ring and that he had been searching for it for a few hours already but had not found it yet. Then his friend offered, offered to help and asked where he might have dropped it. And he said, oh, I think I dropped it somewhere there you know, in the grass area. In amazement, you know, his friend asked, then why are you searching here? He replied, oh, it's dark over there and there is light over here. So it's easier to search here. <laughs> of course, this is a fictional story, I hope so. No? <laughs> that exaggerates a point. You know? That uh, uh, you know, most often than not, we go for the easier path. You know? The path of least resistance. The one that is more convenient the one that is more pleasurable, the one that everyone else is doing, the one that makes you happy despite knowing it is not the right thing to do or the right way to go. We often choose the wide door, even if we know that it does not lead to the life that the Lord has prepared for us. We know the way to the narrow door, but it, it is not easy to pass, so we choose the wider one. I believe the Lord is asking us today, are there still things that we do, that uh, we know do not help our discipleship to journey, but we still do or pursue them because it is more convenient or more pleasurable for us. Do we still choose the world over the Lord? I believe the Lord is reminding us today, I did not call you to enter the narrow door without giving you the grace to go through it. It may not be easy, but I have given you the grace to pass through where I am waiting on the other side to welcome you in my loving arms. Lord, give us the grace to always choose the path that leads to you. Even when going through the narrow door seems daunting, help us and guide us by the Holy Spirit to overcome the temptation of choosing an easier path which does not lead to you. Amen.